BFO Dynamics is, from technical perspective, a SQL Server Data Warehouse solution for Microsoft Dynamics AX and NAV. Let's see how it works. So this is a SQL Server that hosts a AX database. The system that I will show in the video is absolutely the same for NAV. So this is AX with uh, four, five, six, seven thousand tables here. Now BFO Dynamics uh, first creates a data warehouse. So this is BFO AX, and the first job of uh, BFO Dynamics is to read tables in Microsoft Dynamics. So we read and copy the data into BFO Dynamics. So the staging part of BFO Dynamics, the schema stage, is absolutely the same copy of uh, AX. We do not use all the fields, but we just use the fields that are needed to build further our data warehouse. Copying is done as fast as possible. So we are processing uh, data to the stage incremental. In uh, AX, we create our own uh, timestamp while in ANAV, we already have it in Microsoft Dynamics ANAV. After the data are in the staging area, we transform this data with stored procedures and views. So there are a few hundred of stored procedures here uh, that, uh, let's say, uh, run, run the show. If we open one, you will see that uh, the solution is uh, absolutely editable and also that uh, the script is not a very simple one. This is because uh, the system there, uh, Microsoft Dynamics AX and NAV, it's quite complex. This one was not a, uh, a difficult one, but if you look into the cells in Y's, uh, this one has, in the case of AX, uh, four unions uh, for a different parts of the script in order to really give a good user experience with uh, quality data available in the front-end tools. Uh, the good news is f definitely the scripts are editable, can be changed, modified uh, directly with the SQL or as we will see also with our data warehouse automation tool. So the stored procedure uh, are here and a very important part of this is uh, naming convention. Like 25% of the success of every BI project depends on the correct uh, disciplined approach to the naming conventions. The second part are views. Uh, here we have the views uh, that uh, run uh, dimensions and if we see this uh, item view for example uh, we see uh, what is the source of this uh, so it's in the table and all the joins that we do to different table to uh, bring in the detailed information to our item dimension um, the data warehouse transformation are the key and present like 95 or 97 percent of all the transformation but this is not the ending point of data transformation in BFO Dynamics because uh, we take this data from data warehouse and uh, transform this data in Microsoft Dynamics Analysis Services to create cubes. So mostly what we do here are uh, creating new uh, calculations. We add uh, aggregation indexes, uh, transfer translations, so that user has a better experience. But uh, again, the key functionality and uh, is in this integration area. Uh, one very important uh, element of BFO Dynamics is we can join multiple different Microsoft Dynamics version. So we can join, for example, uh, AX 2012 uh, R2 uh, 2009 R3 into one data warehouse. The same with uh, NAV. Any version from 3.6 to 2017 can be joined into the same data warehouse. Now, uh, a business user experience is through a front end. So this is uh, Excel that is uh, reading uh, cubes through a pivot table uh, connector. And uh, here a user use 2000 expressions in NAV 
and 2500 expressions AX cubes, which is quite a lot. BF Photodynamics offer is far better than any other uh, solution on the market. If we have a Power BI, then we provide out of the box Power BI reports that connect either to data warehouse, so uh, a solution can be uh, a data warehouse or cube. So this is effect values and uh, the source in this case are data warehouse uh, fact tables uh, or we can use also um, Power BI against uh, analysis services if you have a SQL Server 2016 standard or any enterprise version. In order to further develop or customize BF Dynamics, you do not need to know SQL. We provide very powerful data automation tool that we call Wizard. It can create or modify existing cubes with a simple five-step process. Shortly, uh, the Wizard creates scripts that are then uh, executed so we would just have a short look. Uh, so these are create table, truncate uh, table and uh, load. So this is uh, exactly the same if you would do this manually. Thousands of lines of uh, script, SQL script are uh, added. And uh, very important part uh, is that uh, with BF Dynamics wizard, we can have a data warehouse automation section where the scripts are being generated automatically based on metadata and the user interface and at the same time we can simply insert manually co code and these two will be always working fine together. If you want to know more about our solution I would suggest you to go to our YouTube channel BF Dynamics and select one of these uh, playlists that are focusing specific uh, technical or business area.